Addressing frustrations about veteran care, it comes after our KCRA 3 investigation aired this video. It shows a Navy vet collapsing at the Sacramento County Emergency Room, waiting minutes for any help. Tonight, even VA employee is sharing her criticism. They really don't listen to anyone. And it breaks my heart when you see the way the vets are being treated. Now, leaders of the Sacramento Veterans Affairs Medical Center are listening as patients express their dissatisfaction. KCRA 3's Tom Miller has the emotional discussion. The very service members the Sacramento Veterans Affairs Medical Center is supposed to care for so they aren't getting the help they need. While I'm waiting to see a doctor that's not expecting me, I'm listening to hear and hearing other veterans that are being delayed a couple months out for any type of care. In Steve Fehrenbacher's case, the KCRA 3 investigation showed video of him collapsing outside the VA's emergency room in July. Minutes passed before medical staff arrived. Since then, Fehrenbacher believes he's been bumped to the top of the care list. The point is for us to, well, <laughs> not to be on a list, to all get our care when we need our care and get proper care. The Northern California VA director says service is improving, noting wait times for appointments of more than 30 days have dropped from 4.8% in March, the worst in the state, to 3.9% in September. Being able to provide timely care relieves the stress, also provides timely intervention if that's going to be helpful. In the care of a patient. However, a woman we spoke with who works here in admin support says she's blowing the whistle. I'm embarrassed to tell people I work for the VA. Wearing a hoodie to protect her identity, she says care remains inadequate. When you have vets that uh, have psychological problems, it takes like six to seven months for them to see a psychiatrist. And by then, they've done something hurt someone or committed suicide. Your husband is a veteran himself. Yes. Does he go here for service? No way on earth. Uh-uh. And why not? Because I don't, he wouldn't get the care that he should have. At times, the town hall became emotional and hostile. This is a joke. Every time there's a complaint, you people are not writing it down. Yeah, 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 he's not organized. You got a lot of people in high places. Fehrenbacher is optimistic care can improve, noting the leadership's willingness to listen is a step in the right direction. We're all used to waiting in lines. We're, we're military people, so it's no big deal as long as we're all getting what we all deserve, and that would be proper care. I really want our health care system to view our world not in the context of we're a health care system, you come to us and we give you the answers, but one that actually listens to the patient and part partners with the veteran on meeting their expectations and their needs. Tom Miller, KCRA 3 News. The Northern California VA says by the end of the year, 96,000 patients will have made appointments. That's up more than 6,000 from 2013. To deal with the influx, it hired about 300 additional workers this year alone.